for discrete mathematics early on in the semester you start learning how to do mathematical proofs uh, which is important it, it helps you learn how to uh, logically think through things the way a computer thinks it also helps math majors to learn how to solve a problem in a good order it helps computer science students uh, think the way a computer thinks this is a uh, very important when you're coding and when you're doing solving mathematical problems in the end so this is what we're proving here let a b and c be integers if a times b divides c then a divides c so we're going to do this with a direct proof because these definitions are very clear there's nothing crazy going on here so a direct proof says to prove a theorem directly we have to start with if statement a which is this part right here and show then statement c so i'm going to start out with this and at the very end of the proof conclude with this this should not show up until the very end of the proof and again we do this process by st starting here thinking about what that all means and then coming out with a dividing c in the end so to prove this kind of statement this is predicate logic so instead of using a and c this is uh, p of x and this is q of x and x in this case will be my integers a b and c to begin the proof no matter what direct proof you do always begin with a sentence of this form let x be an element of the domain and suppose p of x now in my problem i have a b and c so i'm just going to use that and state that so here we go here's the beginning of the proof so we're going to say let a b and c b what kind of numbers integers and then according to this we're supposed to suppose p of x which in our case is a times b divides c and suppose a times b divides c now what does this mean a times b divides c if i go to the definition here it says here number three an integer x divides an integer y if there is some integer k such that y equals kx so we write x divides y to denote that x divides y so i have to pull out this k this is an integer that exists in my problem such that x times k equals y okay so and suppose a times b equals c so we know first of all we know a times b is an integer Um, mostly because a dot b divides c but a times b is an integer because the product of two integers is another integer since we know this relationship a times b divides c then there exists an integer k such that all right let me go back to the definition make sure i get this right now notice that if it's k divides x divides y the k goes with the number that's in front so that means such that c equals k times a times b that's by the definition so i'm just going to utilize that so since a b divides c then there exists an integer k such that c equals k times a times b so how does this help me prove what i want to prove all right so let's consider Hmm, do I want to consider a divides c? Well, let's just see what happens. Consider, well, let's consider this relationship. c equals k times a times b. So if a divides c, let's think about this. If a divides c, there exists some constant, say, n, that's an integer, where uh, n times a equals c. So I'm going to kind of use this and then what I have here to reach what I want. This is my goal. This is what I have. 
All right, so let's consider this, and I'm just going to manipulate it a little bit. Again, this is what I'm looking for, C equals NA. Well, I have C equals this, which I can rewrite as by commutative property, A times K times B, and then by the associative property, I can write this. And then state where KB equals some integer n is an integer because the product of two integers is an integer itself. So now I have that C equals A times N. Therefore, A divides C. I'm done with the proof.